saying no to everything. It's <laughs> stop picking up rubbish. <laughs> That's the simple no, answer. Be more diplomatic. Stop picking up rubbish. I say, let's meet the teams. Well, on today's programme, we've got teams of couples. For the Reds, we've got Enid and Roger. And for the Blues, we've got Anna Nash. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hello, Tim. Tim. Lovely to see you. Now, Enid, it says here that you've got green fingers. I have, Tim. I'm a flower arranger, and I'm very fortunate to be a member of the Salisbury Cathedral flower team. It's a beautiful place, the cathedral. It's a wonderful place to work, yes. We, are, we are volunteers. Good. And what do you do, Roger? Um, well, a bit of this and that, Tim, really, you well, know, shrug I your shoulders really shrug shoulders <laughs> and, then, and spend my time listening to music and uh, volunteering for Salisbury Festival. Tell us about your love of music then, Rog. I spend a lot of my time collecting music, particularly 1960s psychedelia. It was a very interesting period, music, I always think. It was, things were getting very creative. You get groups, to use a Salisbury example, uh, yes. Dave D. Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch. They had a very good run of very commercial records, which were written for them. On the B-sides, so they'd be told to go and make the B-side in the few hours in the studio, and you'd get something really quite interesting, yes, which would amaze right. people who only knew their commercial sides. So, loads of vinyl in your collection, then? Uh, quite a bit. Vinyl's making a comeback. You can't beat the vinyl, particularly uh, with the LPs and the lovely and covers. It, by jingo, hasn't the values gone up? Certainly. In the last 10 years. Yes, yeah, certainly have. I mean, well, everybody was throwing the stuff away a few years ago when CDs were coming in. Yes. Now they're starting to wish they haven't. What right? are your tactics today, then, Anne? Are you going to spend all your cash and go for broke? Yes, we're going to spend big. You're excited, aren't you, I can clearly Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, I'm looking I forward to it. it. Bubbling over. <laughs> I wish you very good luck. Now, Anne... I understand, like Enid, you too have green fingers. I do, but I help people grow plants rather than do flower arranging. I'm a gardener and I help people in the village that, uh, that I live in keep mm -hmm. their gardens looking all nice and spick and span. I can tell that you're a colourful character because I can <laughs> see from your outfit I'm quite fond of the old bright colours. I think you should give us a revolution, darling, of your trousers. I'm scared of getting lost and you're not going to lose me wearing this. No, you won't get run over in those, darling. No. That's true. <laughs> So, Ash, you've had many careers over the years, haven't you? Uh, absolutely, yes. I, was, I spent six years in the army as a surveyor. Um, I spent a year or so as a dispatch rider before spending 12 years in IT. Um, and then about six, seven years ago, I stopped that and I joined the ambulance service. And I'm now a registered paramedic. That is some shifting about, isn't it? Absolutely. And tell me about this Mensa business. Ah, oh, Mensa, yes, yes. Um, uh, about 20 odd years ago, I joined Mensa. It was whilst I was in the army. Around about the same time, Anne joined, although I didn't know her at the time. Um, but it was. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, part of the reason we got together, though, was at Mensa meetings in Newbury. Good. And now the money moment. You don't need a Mensa qualification to count that lot. It's £300 a piece. You know the rules, your experts await, and off you go. And very, very, very good luck. Gosh, whatever's going to happen today. Today, the Reds have a man who's always sporting the best antiques know-how. It's Colin Young. And the Blues get bright, brainy Braxton. Now, what are we looking for, you two? Well, we'd like something really useful. We quite useful. like useful okay. things, so that would be quite good. Or something pink and sparkling. I like purple, Colin. That's the thing. I should be drawn to things purple. Right. Any holistic reason for that? It's a spiritual colour. <laughs> Is it? Mm. Right. What spirits do you drink, then, that's, uh, that's well, purple? I'm more a wine man, actually, when I say spirits. <laughs> no, Colin, we're talking divine presents, not distilled tipples. Oh, look, are the blues in the pink already? It's pink and sparkly, and it's useful. Yeah, and it's very expensive. £285. So how are you going to make a profit out of that? Talk me through that one. Oh. Um, I'm going to get him to go and knock the, the price down a lot. Good luck with that, Ash. Anne's got faith in you. How much would it be worth at auction? How far would it have to come uh, down? About £70 pounds would be worth an auction. Really? really? I think even Anne's faith would be tested there. So Probably pretty not much a go, a no -go then. <laughs> No, no, I wouldn't go Kill. Think smaller. Think smaller. How does etched cranberry glass sell? You're going to say no. I know oh, you're going to say Very no. well if it's old. Ah. And that is... Is new. New. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm a Deep Purple fan as well. Are you? Yeah. Which is your favourite album? Um, well, Fireball, actually. Ah, oh, Fireball. All oh, right. Yeah, I just bought Machine Head recently yeah. because they redid that one. That's, yeah. that's, that's quite a good album. <laughs> Impossible. Look, forget Deep Purple. You'll be in deep trouble if you don't get a move on. Black Sabbath, <laughs> Colin? Black Sabbath? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, saw them last year at uh, Download. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw them back in the in back the in day. day. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oxford Town Hall. How yeah. long have we got? One of the, one of the oh, loudest. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, oh, we're, sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> music. Quite right, Enid. How about some bargain hunting chaps? Rock on, Reds. Instead of pink and sparkly, how about blue and twinkly? It matches your fleeces, it's a team. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> colour. Three hundred pounds. Would you choose that sort of price in an auction? It wouldn't be far off. Hello, hello, hello. Ding. That could be useful. Marvellous. Here we are. Where are, are we, team? Look at that. That's just beautiful. That's really yeah. good. It is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very beautiful. And very, very expensive. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to kill our expert. Not quite yet. We've got a couple of things to buy. Don't first. worry, I'm hanging on to the rubber. <laughs> That's okay. You can probably I'm stop doing that now. Yes, James, an electrifying performance. So, uh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> that but is... all these things come alive when you don't introduce light, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think that was generally the idea. Customers, each and every item displayed in this cabinet is priced at only five pounds fifty. So go grab the key and bag yourself a bargain. Ooh. Ooh. Well, at £5.50... You might be able to build up a bit of a group lot there. a trio of items. There's got to be something we can buy in there what for £5.50 and make a profit, isn't it? those box and then those blue gloss? Well, it's a flower vase, table centre. Oh, OK. It is. That's a lot. This is a really interesting cabinet all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it that, that price makes really so much difference. Well, at those prices, it's got bargain written all over it, surely. Meanwhile, it's not pink, but can the blues lighten the price with Dealer Stewart here? The best price I'd do it for yeah. is £150. Is really? that good for you or not? I think it's a well, beauty. I think it's a beauty. I think that sounds pretty good. Is it all is it sound? perfect? We'll get it down and have a look. I'm pretty certain it should be, uh, unless someone's dinged Should it I do it? up there. That'd be difficult to do it. Right. Oh, yes, oh, if you can oh, reach it, that's oh, good, oh, yeah. Oh, You're OK, yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get we'll the weight. Careful, James. You haven't yeah. bought it yet. Got the OK. It's a point you need to look at, really. Yeah, Phil, sometimes the eyes can lie. No, I think it's good. Mm. When would this have been made? I would say 1920s. I'd say Edwardian. The thing is, it was made for <laughs> electricity, and electricity was generally not sort of widespread for yeah. lighting until the 20s, but yeah, sure, houses But had this is a beautiful item. It would have been made for a good house. They would have had their own generators yeah. and, and knew something yeah. like this, yeah. I, I would go for it. It's such a, it's great fun. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Well thank done. You. Really kind. Thanks, Thank Austria. You. Thank you. Very yeah. much. Thanks. Well done too. Good. Thank you. Thank goodness the only thing that dropped there was the price to half price. Over with the reds. Presentation is everything. It just says eye catching blue vase, but well, it caught your eye. It is quite. Yeah, there's going to be no problem with trade the descriptions tree. there, is there? <laughs> it is eye catching. Well, there's a flower arranger, I think. You can't well, I'll go for yeah. the third. And. Well, that's a nice. Uh, oh, yes, that's good. Nice chunk of glass, mm. isn't it? Mm. There we go. Nice little turtle. I think. That's going to be a sweet little lot for all. Well, ooh, uh, £17.50. Is oh, that it's not as much as that. Oh, no. no. Is it £16.50? £16.50. £16. I just saved a pound. Brilliant. Are we agreed? I Absolutely. think that's... Yeah, let's team, teamwork. Yeah, let's yeah. Teamwork. We've made a start. Yes. That's Excellent. a good start. First purchase done. OK, three bits of modern glass reds. Maybe there's safety in numbers here. We'll see. 20 minutes gone. Now, can the Blues find something to bring a twinkle to James's eye for a second time? Silver plated gallery tray. You're going for shiny things? Well, it is shiny, it is but it shiny. is silver plate. I don't know whether silver plate is a good thing or a bad thing. It's a bad thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Next question. laughs> That'll be another rejection. And, I'm and what price I mean, it, you it says £66.50, but. Six, I, I, six, I, what would it very fetch accurate at pricing on this stand, <laughs> isn't it? But what, what would it be likely to fetch at auction? Come back for us, yeah. that'd be great. I'll do that. Oh, okay. I'll be a second. Thank you very Thank you. much. Are you sure that says euros, chaps? I think that's actually their pound sign, by the way. 
Uh, no, I think... No, I, no, no they, they don't, don't mean that. No, no. They've, mis- they've misled you. £25, pounds, I think they meant that. Yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> our store and we're sticking to it. Yeah. Like, we'll be right. We'll stick together on this, Colin. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, yes. Yeah. Nice try, boys. Even if it did say €39, Euros, that's more like £33, pounds, not £25. It's, it's a good old jumble of goodies, doesn't it? Price for that. Okay. Now, the bottle stopper, which is, I guess... Sort of Black Forest, is it? I think both they are. Most yeah. of these things come from, from that part of Germany. That yeah. sort of bit of carved yes. pine. It's, it's quite fun, but there's a very small market for these. And um, I'm, I hope they haven't paid a lot for it, because I don't see much potential in that. Well, how much potential? Well, five or ten pounds. Is that all? Twenty-five pounds they paid. Oh, dear. Yeah. yeah. Well, on that happy note, I think we ought to check out their bonus buy, because I have a funny feeling they're going to need it. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, AA... You spent 193. You gave James Braxton 107. James, what did you spend it on? Well, I got an idea of what they wanted to buy during our period, and I thought I'd match them like for like, and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so they managed to alight on the most horrendous <laughs> bottle statement. And I was lured into somebody's <laughs> back stop room, and I suddenly saw this Black Forest bear stopper. Yeah. And I thought you they would resist. not be able to resist that. Oh. How much of our oh, fantastic amount of money did you spend on it? Lots of money on it. Really? No, 25 <laughs> <laughs> So we're going head to head. We are. Cool. I still think mine will make more money. What was he? What's he? <laughs> Brilliant. We'll call him James. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sweetest. Thing. <laughs> OK. Very sweet. Lovely. So you don't pick it now, you pick it later, but let's find out for the audience at home whether the auctioneer thinks he would pick it or not. Well, would you believe it? Well, there we are. It's another bottle stopper. I hope they have a little bit more luck with that, because although it's a bear which is more associated with the Black Forest exactly. for, for carving, so I think we're on, we're on better ground here. And it is actually quite nicely done, and thankfully in good condition, ears intact, but not of great value. I hope this isn't... Uh, aren't high hopes riding on this little bear. What is your estimate, then? Well, five or ten pounds. What, double what the last one was? Well, about the same as the last <laughs> yeah, one, but they... not much money still. Well, James mm. Braxton managed to pay £25. Pounds. Well, good luck to him for that. Mm. I, I, I can't see him making a profit on it. Well, I can say to you say. Is good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Thank you, Richard. Absentee bid at 40, I'll sell at 4 pounds. 35 so, how are you feeling? Um, I'm quite excited, Tim, actually. I am. Yeah, looking forward to this. I've not done an auction before. What, never? No, never. This is the first time. And what about you, Ellis? Have you ever been to an auction? Yes, I have been to an auction, but I, I didn't bid, but the person I was with bought some ducks. Did they? Yes. Going up a wall? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Proper live ducks. Oh, proper ducks? Yes. Oh, it was a livestock auction. Yes. Oh, I see. How oh, very funny. Well, anyway, we've got no ducks today, but we hope you're going to be lining up your ducks. I hope so, too. First item up are the three pieces of glass. I don't like to stick by that. <laughs> it's got to be a dead cert to make a profit on £16.50. Lot 264, three pieces of uh, modern glass. £15 for them. At £15 anywhere. £10 then. 10 is bid. Ten. Selling at 10 it's 12 now. 15 no, it's £15, no, pounds. gentlemen's is, bid. No. I'll sell at 15 All done. At £15 pounds then, last time. Well, there you go. There's a prediction. You're bound to make a profit. You just made a loss. <laughs> £15. Pounds. It was. Lot 265 is the small silver and wooden whiskey quaish. Start me on this at 15 if you will. £15 pounds bid. 18 20 5 30 £30. Pounds. Pounds. Nearer the counter. Pounds. 30 I'll sell at £30 pounds then, last time at... Profit. £30 pounds is plus £2, pounds, which means overall oh, you are plus 50p. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go then. Now here's the wall mirror. Lot 266, a Rococo-style wall mirror with engraved plate. Should we say 30 for that? £30 pounds for that? 20 then. £20 anywhere. 20 is bid. 25 30 5 starting to creep up. £5 nearer me. At £35, pounds, I'll sell. At it's not creeping very far, though. Oh, dear. Mm. Last time at £35. Pounds. It's it's a shame, that is a shame. Yeah. That's 5 or 40. It's 18. That's minus 22.50, then. What are you going to do? Well, they are lovely objects. Enid loves them. And it might be the wrong day, but let's go with it, I think. We're in trouble already. Let's just have some fun. That's right, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be it? Yeah, we're okay. going to do the bonus buy, Tim. Very good. I don't blame you. They are magnificent <laughs> objects. Beautiful. Lot 270 is a pair of pearlware 
porcelain chestnut baskets, 45, 48 pounds I'm bid, 50 now, 55, 60, 5, 65, it's in the corner at 65 My pounds, goodness. 70 new bidder, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, oh, 110, 110 by the door at 110 pounds. At 110 pounds, and I'll sell. Could have been worse. At Could have been worse. Pounds. All done at 110. The theme continues. That's a pound. Eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Is that 110 pounds on the nail? Yes. That's Minus not, no, score. Really. No. Well, it's pretty poor. Yeah, it is. Say, right. That's just very right. frank. It is not your fault. You had good goods. Yeah, it just good wasn't your day. No, they were good objects. They were, they good, were good objects. Colin did all well. All four of them. <laughs> and, um, it's a bitter pill to have to swallow, I have to say. But there we are. Swallow it, we must. Yep. And you never know. Minus 110 pounds might be a winning score. Could <laughs> be. Now, kids, do you know how the Reds got on? No, no they didn't idea. tell us. They were so mean. They were so mean. So mean. Were they crying or did they look quite no, happy? They looked quite they happy. Looked they looked quite happy. Yeah, they did. Looked they were bluffing. They were bluffing. Oh, they'll be bluffing. Bluffing. Yeah, there is that to it. Bluffing. Anyway, first up is the overlaid glass ceiling light shade, and here it comes. Plot 285 is a blue and white glass light bowl. Start me on this at £20, if you will. £20 for this. <laughs> £20 is bid. 25 now. 30, 5, 40, 5, uh -oh. 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 75, thank you anyway, it's uh -oh. 75 on my left. I'll Half price. 75 pounds. At 75, all done elsewhere at 75 pounds. 75 oh. pounds is minus 75. <laughs> That's a lovely one. That's a big <laughs> hit. Now the wrought iron Hello. dogs. Wrought iron fire dogs, 12 pounds will start me on these, 12 pounds is bid. At twelve pounds, I'll sell. I'll be done elsewhere. At twelve pounds, then last time. Twelve pounds is minus six pounds. It's getting worse. Minus eighty-one. Is a novelty bottle stopper in the form of a kissing couple. Fifteen pounds for this. Ten pounds then. Ten pounds, if you will. Five pounds anywhere. Five pounds is bid. Quickly at five. I'll sell at five if you're done. At five pounds eight now. No, eight pounds nearer the cabinet. I'll sell at eight. At eight pounds. Last time at eight. Bad luck, team. That's eight pounds. That's too short of ten. Oh, That's minus eight. 17, 81, 91, 98. <laughs> minus 98 pounds. <laughs> minus 98. So are we going to compound the error and go oh, with another one? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. 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 That's the <laughs> Lot 291 is a small bottle stopper, Black Forest Bear. Lot 291. And bid start me here at 12, 15 pounds I have, at 15 pounds, 18 now, 20, 22, 25 and I'm out. At 25 it's in the room, I'll sell at 25 pounds against you all elsewhere. Well done, James Frankston, <laughs> you've been vindicated you, again. You win the bottle stopper. Yes, you win the bottle you do. <laughs> No profit, no loss, no pain, no gain on the on the bear no, stopper. No, no. The overall score remains as minus 98. That could be a winning score. Don't say a word to the Reds. We and all will be revealed in a moment. Oh, right. Absolutely. Well done. Absolutely. Well done, James. <laughs> well, 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 there are similarities between our teams today. Both teams went with the bonus buy, both of which didn't do terribly well. <laughs> there is only £12 between the team's scores today, which are substantially in the minus department of life. So, £12 between you. Been chatting at all? Well, yeah. chatting about the money. Not about the money. <laughs> well, I have to reveal that the team that is running up today Reds. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, oh dear. Mainly because of the chestnut baskets, of course.